On this fifth anniversary of Hurricane Ivan, many of us will recall the dramatic events that unfolded over that 11th to 12th September weekend, or between Saturday night and Monday morning. Caymanians have long been known for their practical heritage, and we remain mindful of the power of the elements. Our forefathers understood the need to be cautious and to respect the might of the sea. I clearly recall those pre-Ivan hours as we prepared for what we realized could be a devastating event. Inside the Emergency Operations Center, we were especially concerned for residents of Kimmerbrack and Little Cayman as they battened down in expectation of a direct hit. However, as warning has, had suggested it might, Ivan's direction changed and the storm set its sights on Grand Cayman. We were not unprepared. Leading up to the storm, some 10,000 residents and visitors had been evacuated, and indeed a similar number left Ravage Grand Cayman soon afterwards. And I say Ravage deliberately, for make no mistake, Ivan was a devastatingly powerful weather system. During and after the onslaught of this Category 4 hurricane, our country's infrastructure was heavily damaged, our emergency plans thoroughly tested by the elements. Add last year's Paloma to Ivan, and without fear of contradiction, I can say that we all have enough hurricane memories to last a lifetime. Yet, invariably, Positive memories outweigh the negative. Certainly, our heroes comprise one of our most outstanding Ivan legacies. Their actions and our collective sense of responsibility help to take us safely through, and these characteristics also bode well for the future. Much of our success in overcoming adversity has resulted from our preparedness levels, our faith, and our spirit of optimism. We have been fortunate that this hurricane season has been a quiet one so far. Let us not forget, though, that it still has three months to run, and the latter half of the season is well known for systems that develop rather quickly and close to us, particularly to the south. But on this fifth anniversary of Ivan, let us again give thanks. Let us continue to demonstrate our positive qualities. While we all understand that the future is unpredictable, let us pledge to take the inner strength which sustained us through the storms and make it the standard of our everyday living. In closing, I give thanks for divine providence and the protection of Almighty God. May He continue to protect and bless the people of these beautiful islands.